this. See, what had happened was, I was driving and I heard a big, it's like a big thunk and it's like, okay, what is that? Then a little down the road, I hit click, 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 and then I knew. I knew I ran something over and it punctured the tire. <sighs> I didn't realize it was gonna be something this long. Holy she. So I went to pull over and like, I was in the parking lot and like, I went to go like, you know, try to pull out the nail. I was like, yeah, maybe I can plug it. I like, pull it out, pull it out a little bit, a little bit, like, mmm, I was like a quarter inch. I'm like, yep, you're going back in. That's, I'm not gonna be able to fix this here. Well, I didn't want to, at least. So I got back to the garage and this is what I saw. I pulled out the screw and lo and behold, I did not know it was gonna be this long. That's what she said. <laughs> yes, uh, it was on the edge of the tire and under the uh, the tread too, so this tire is blown. It's it's gone. It's it's a it's toast. It's all good. It's all good. Gives me a chance to bring out this little beast. Oh yeah. Let me start it up. I have to get some errands done today. Back to my story. Um, but yeah, thankfully I have a uh, the road hazard when I bought these tires for the Mustang uh, on Tire Rack. And the process is a little, I guess, since it's online, you gotta submit for a claim, then turn in the receipts and all that, and hopefully you get refunded. But, and you gotta buy the tire again from Tire Rack or whatever, and they'll refund you. But then, hopefully everything goes well, and I'll definitely update you uh, after I get my refund back. Here's a question for my fellow car people. Do you warm up your car before you start driving it? Do you warm up your car before you start getting on the throttle, hammer to the floor? I do. I at least let the uh, oil temperature raise to at least 100 degrees before I start driving it. This uh, Corvette, it's warmed up really slow because it has a bunch of oil coolers, but I still wait. I might as well because, you know, some people, some people, I mean, Man, respect to you. Turn the car and boom, boom, boom. And it's like, you know, gun it. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not that person. What kind of person are you? Starting the morning off right. Oh yeah. It's a, it's a, what did I get? It's a uh, sweet cream cold brew nitro. Mm. Amazing. For a while I stopped drinking coffee because it's a lot of caffeine in it, but I'll be fine. Mm. Actually uh, started to research into cold brew and pour over coffees. So I would, I would have to stop buying, you know, prevent me from buying $5 coffees. But, man, I was researching into my coffee making and wow, that's a whole different art. The whole thing to learn, it's uh, its crazy. Of course, I did what I usually do. I started buying stuff. Picked up a lot of stuff from uh, Amazon uh, to get my feet wet onto coffee making. I bought a pour over and a cold brew maker. I just picked up the old tire and the new tire mounted on the wheel. Oh yeah. This is crazy. This screw, wow. Like, okay. Like, it almost hit the wheel. Look at that. That's crazy. Torque wrench. I'm that uh, torque wrench kind of guy. I always do everything by uh, spec. 
This is a Tekton torque wrench. It's not too expensive. It's not too cheap. It's uh, I got this off of uh, Amazon, and I'll leave you a link. Uh, this is what I use to uh, tighten up the torque nuts or the, the lug nuts on the Mustang, which needs to be 150 foot pounds. And this uh, this is solid. I like it. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna set this to 150 foot pounds. Oh yeah, almost there. Yeah. Hmm. Here it is, 150 foot pounds. Oh yeah. So this is my PSA for this fun Friday. If you're using a torque wrench, make sure when you're storing the torque wrench, you bring it back down to the lowest settings. What do you guys do for your torque wrenches? I would recommend, and most manufacturers recommend, you bring it back down to the lowest setting so you don't disturb and bend or warp anything inside the torque wrench. But is that just overly cautious? I don't know, let me know what you think. Let's start this baby up, cold start, and hear this thing purr. I gotta go to the AutoZone and return the batteries uh, that I just replaced on the Mustang and get my core charge back. And uh, for this video, if you would like to know, since uh, you might be here for my camera content, I am shooting this video with a Sony ZV-E10 with a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus microphone on it and on uh, the lens is a 16 to 35 Sony Veraro Tessera 16 to 35 f4 lens I'm sure the neighbors love it when I bring this car over <laughs> Woo! anyhow Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more crazy content, I guess, uh, from me. And uh, if you're here for camera stuff, let me know what other camera content you want to see. Let me know what other car content you want to see, or any content whatsoever. Anyway, thank you for watching, and until next time. Oh, yeah. Oh, look what it is, my first car.